We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Musselman Appleman, Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, last Friday, your team unfortunately takes a tough loss to the Spring Mills Cardinals, 26-3. to Just give us your thoughts about how that game went. Um, I mean, it didn't go our way, obviously. Uh, you know, we, we we did not play well in any aspect of the game. Uh, you know, is some of that's credit to Spring Mills. I thought Spring Mills did play well, so I don't want to come out and, you know, I don't want to come out and say it was all us playing bad. But, you know, we, we did not play well, um, and, and they did play well. Um, and it's just, you know, we, we – we got to work on some things. We got to fix some things. Um, you know that, that's kind of that's kind of obvious after losing. But uh, you know it, it's you know we're not not pleased with the result. Anything in particular that you feel like you need to work on? Uh, we just uh, I mean we just got to get better as a team. We just got to you know I don't know. I think there's a lot of things. I don't think I don't think right now. I don't think right now we're very efficient with a lot of things that we do. Um, you know, and that that's my fault. That's 100% my fault. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've not put us in a position to win, and I've not done a good enough job coaching this team um, to, to knowing um, the standards and the expectations on that stuff. So, um, you know, I, I think it takes a lot of evaluation on just little things that you got to fix. But um, obviously, as the head coach, that starts with me. What does it take, I guess, to try to fix some of those things, starting with you and then getting it into your team? You know, losses always make you step back and evaluate yourself. So we got to step back and ask ourselves, you know, what are we, what are we not succeeding at, and what do we have to get better at? You know, we're a program that we expect to win. Um, so you know, anytime you lose, it's frustrating. But especially when you lose two straight games, um, it, it's very frustrating. But you know, like I told the boys, and I'm going to tell them again uh, throughout this week. You know, we, we're facing a little bit of adversity. They're not the first team at Musselman High School that's ever faced adversity. They're not the first team that um, has ever had tough times against them. So you know, when, when you face those tough times just like in life uh you either kind of crumble uh to the situation that's happening and you let it snowball and get worse or you figure out a way out of that rut and you can figure out a way to make it better so you know hopefully we can find the ladder and, and you know there's still a lot of football left to play uh you know we got a bye week this week and then six games after this so we got seven more weeks left uh guaranteed that we can practice so uh you know hopefully we can practice beyond that and, and get into the postseason a little bit so there's a lot more time in the season to decide that with the struggles in the last two weeks uh does this feel like a good time for the bye i think so you know I, i've always been a fan uh i'm not a fan of the bye week at the end of the year and you know before i came to game the head coach and even my first couple years ahead as the head coach we had a bye week the last week of the regular season i know some people say you know well it gives you a chance to rest up into the playoffs and yada 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 i always felt like it made us lose momentum going into the playoffs because you, you should be playing your best football at the end of the year and uh i feel like we would lose that momentum a little bit and you know kind of rest and relax a little bit or whatever you want to say during the bye week and I feel like we go into the playoffs with, with you know not as much fire and excitement so I feel like the bye week's always good at the at the middle of the year just because it kind of gives you a uh, quote unquote halftime a little bit to kind of sit there and evaluate yourself and then judge some things um, so you know this week's going to be a good week for us to come in and um, you know we're, 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 pro- we're going to approach it not from the aspect of resting but we're going to approach it from the aspect of uh, let's push ourselves to get a little bit better. With the bye week being this week, what's kind of your schedule that you have set for your team? What's the concentration going to be on? Well, I, th- I, th- I think you have to find your balance between um, – you know, getting better and resting at the same time. You know, we, we, we want to come out and we want to be physical and we want to get better. Uh, we obviously have to do that. You know, the past, past two weeks, uh, we, you know, we haven't been physical enough. So we want to come out and we want to get physical and we want to get better. Um, at the same time, you know, we're not going to – one, because, you know, the main reason is because we're not allowed with the, with our rules. But, uh, you know, even even with the rules in place, you know, we're, we're not um, – you know, we're not going to make the mistake of banging these kids 
for two straight hours every day and, and having our bodies fail us. So you got to find that balance between, hey, we want to be physical, uh, but we also want to rest up. You know, we'll, we'll get our rest at the end of the week. We'll have a long weekend next week. Uh, you know, we don't have a game Friday, so we'll get, you know, we'll give the kids Friday off and let them rest a little bit Friday and over the weekend and then, you know, hopefully come back next week, um, you know, rejuvenized and ready to play a game. Coach, uh, your team after the bye will get ready for Martinsburg. Just some early thoughts on that matchup? Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm not really giving you a coach's cliche. Um, you know, there's two ways you're going to approach this. We either got two weeks or we come in and, and, and you know, fix ourselves and get better ourselves. And, and you know, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't really even watched Martinsburg that much. Um, you know, with all due respect, we know they're good, but I'm not really worried about Martinsburg. I'm more worried about um, the team that we got in our locker room and getting our kids right and getting our kids focused on what we have to do. So when I say I'm not worried about Martinsburg, um, you know, obviously I think the, in, in any person, and with any any bit of sense to them would understand that I'm not saying I'm not worried about them or I don't think they're good. They, anybody would know that the, obviously they're good. They won, you know, they're the premier program in the state. But at the same time, you know, we're not coming in and, and repping Martinsburg stuff right now. We're coming in and repping Musselman stuff um, and worrying about ourselves. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I know they're after our bye week, and, you know, I know we're going to have to be ready uh, to play that game. Uh, but, you know, like I said before, um, i got to worry about the young men that we have in our locker room and the kids that we have and then you know down the line we'll, we'll worry about martinsburg here and start prepping for them a little bit all right coach appreciate the time and thank you hey thank you guys thanks for having me on this week